Why don't you do a value sketch of every painting for what? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Mm -hmm. that, that's all very, very light. Um, it has fabulous potential, but I don't, I don't know where you want me to go. It's just, I know how to draw a bird, and I had this cool idea of mama bird. You know, it's, it's like you're not, you're not, although you have background, you're not leading me through the background and through the, the subject. Okay. And I don't know where really you want to go. Um, so if you get some value, and the army dark is right there, and that brings out the baby birds, and that's good. But other than that, what am I looking at? What, where am I, what's, what's the whole canvas, the whole paper telling me, the whole painting? Um, and, and it's not really. So again, do some value sketches and decide mm -hmm. the entirety mm -hmm. and where you want to go and then start doing it. I think it's a fun thing. Yeah. Yeah. Fun is always acceptable. It's humorous. It is. It's, it's great. I have shadows on the board. Yeah. Again, I'm saying to Shirley, just take it off. Okay. Don't just kiss it. Take it off. And take it off. Um, I, they're stronger when they're connected to at least three sides. More, so, more connection, I believe. I think so. Yeah, more connection. And, um, so there's one going in there. I one see one that's going to go there, but that will give you one side. Some fun something. That's, that's somewhere that's to here. Go up in there. Okay. Something, some fun something that connects two more sides. Um, just because it, it feels more finished. Okay. That I'm going to do beads. Of beads. Doesn't matter what. Will that will that help too? Oh, I think so. Yeah, so I think I so. Through that eye and yeah. down. As long as <laughs> as long as it the doesn't eye. just leave this with no connection. Because what you're doing when you connect is you're making shapes. Yes. And and the shapes in the background are just as important as the shapes in the foreground. And if you have it all the way around with no connections, there's no shapes. And so the background gets less interesting. And it doesn't take much. Like that little feather, you just bring it right off, and suddenly you have this, well, you can bring that off too. You have that shape instead of a flat background with nothing going on. So, you know, if you have beads of beads coming in through, that'd be great. Just whatever. Um, but just think in terms of I want my I want something touching my side. Something touching three places is general rule of thumb. Okay. So, like each mask touching three places? No, or? no, no. This, like if you bring it off, it's now touching it's to touching. this side. Okay, okay. The beads would be touching to this side. And I don't know, some no, there's feather. No, there's definitely going to be yeah. lots of touching on that one. Okay. Now, and that, um, it just makes the background cut into shapes that make it more interesting. Okay. It's beautiful. Round. Huh? <laughs> Can we get one more like going off? Where? Just right there. Oh, up off the Just off. Pan. Just touching okay. the top. I can do that. Yeah. Um, Just to get away from the vignette feel. It doesn't bother me that it's not touching down here, but it, I really want it to go off right there. Okay. That should be easy to do. Yeah. And, and when you do that, <coughs> attach this one a little so okay. it's not just barely touching, but it's actually attached. Okay. That's the only thing I see. Well, one other maybe. This plate doesn't feel round. Is it supposed to be round? Probably is. 
I'm sure it's round. Right there, it flattens. Okay. So it's coming up, <coughs> it's, it's going around, and then all of a sudden. So I need to bring the white out a little bit, not much. Just a teeny. Just, just an eighth of an inch, maybe. Yeah, just make sure it feels round. Okay. Beautiful orange, beautiful grapes. It's you just wanted me to transition through there, so I put one red berry there. Yeah, it's just, it really works well. Beautiful. Just that doesn't feel around, and I want that off. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. I wanted me to put the leaf, the branch going up out of the picture, so I did. Mm hmm. And darken the sides a little bit with purple. I did that. Yeah. It looks really nice. Lighten that little thing or one more leaf off. <laughs> okay, let me come over there. Barely see that it's going off. Yeah, I had it more defined, uh -huh. and I blurred it out because it was, I wanted it to go further back and make them the important part. Right, yeah, and that so, really works. Yeah. That, I, I wouldn't, until the rest is completely done, don't That's touch what that I'm part. Do. <laughs> Just leave it that way, unless I need to pick out some lights maybe yeah. a little bit later on. Right. Um, but I wanted to get their personalities in before I got on to the rest of the stuff uh -huh. and lost it. Yeah, um, you're, I, you will do this anyway, but my suggestion is, that's beautiful. Treat their clothes loose like that. Okay. Don't have this be a, an American flag that stands out, because yeah. that's not your subject. They all had American flags on them. Yeah, but I mean, treat it like that. Right, just blur it mostly. Blur it uh, yeah. somewhat, and then have them be the subject. Okay. Yeah. So try not <laughs> to take away from them by, by having real tight down here. Yeah. I have a question. Shirley, do they need to have the flag on here? Should that, it's kind of making a statement because they're very patriotic okay. people. Okay. It's a commission yeah. for yeah. a man and his four sons. I think if it's just treated loosely I like think that, I will. that. Just a suggestion. It's, it, you know, yeah. we know this is an American. I know that's an American flag from that. Mm -hmm. No colors, no real star. I mean, I know those are American right. flags. Treat it like that. Yeah. And then, and that'll show the patriotism, but then their personalities will come yeah. through, and that's your story. Okay. This is very nice. I think you have, I like, foreground. I think you're not getting your recession because this color and this color are the same. But you really only have a dark and a mid. And there's no um, there's no light. You know, you, you really want three values when you do a landscape. You want dark, mid, and light. And you really don't have a light. These don't count as light because they are just on top of what's really dark and and are the subject. Um, and the fact that that is the same value as that makes it, doesn't make it look, I mean, I'm assuming this is a reflection in water, this part here, but the fact that they're the same value makes it not look like that. 
And really, if you just had more blurriness in here, a little bit of light, um, then that does recede there. I mean, all your reflections are too hard edged, too definite, too, um, too much the same color as what they're reflecting. But I feel like the sky, if it were lighter, we'd now go the three values. Um, as it is, this is receding and this is sitting up. It's not laying down like a, a landscape should. So I think just lighten the sky and blur some here. And part of it is the actual edges should be blurred, but part of it is you could just put a tiny bit of smear, like little almost ripples, just smear it a little. Because I don't care how still the water is, it's not going to be that hard uh, on a reflection. Exactly the same value, top to bottom, left to right, and all the little dots are the same size. And if you clump some of them with darks or with lights, light um, blocks, light or dark blocks, what? Uh, color. Just copying that instead of. Just, a, well, yeah. you know, you've got pink, um, a reddish, and, and a greenish. Pick a color. Okay. <laughs> um, or and you've got blue. So if you put if you put a one of these values of blue as a clump, it it wouldn't cover, it would layer, it wouldn't cover the color, so you'd still know that it was this kind of a bush. But it would read more like what your eye sees. Because when you look at a bush, you don't see each individual dot, you see areas of lighter and areas of darker. Um, and so I, I think particularly down in here, because usually the base of a, of a bush is going to be a little darker. It's going to have shadows that it's casting on itself. Does that make sense? Um, you're not going to see each strand all the way up. You're going to see some areas of clumping. I mean, really. <laughs> look at, look at um, bushes. And you'll see light and dark within the bush, too. And so just joining and making larger shapes here and there to make it more bush-like. Yeah. And really probably somewhat in the trees here. So you've kind of got it here. Mm -hmm. You've got larger areas of dark, and then the li little areas of light, and then a lot of it mid-tone. That looks more tree-like than either that or that. And, and what you have done, you've joined, here's a branch, and you've joined some leaves here with dark, and then just joined and picked out with light. And that's what I'm talking about. So look at that tree, and do a little bit more of it on these. Because you, you've got, these are just surface on the values of the, of the structure, which is good, except for you need more light. Um, but now you've got to start thinking of, and even here, see how each one of those is individual? Way that far away, some of them are going to join with your eye. So if you have some of them with a little bit of dark or mid-tone kind of join, um, it's going to look more like you did here. See right there? You've joined them. <laughs> here you kind of join them. Like this. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And here they're all just little yes, stripes. Yes, got it. Yeah, so you just got to kind of join your things here and there. Okay? Sure. All right, good.
read 11, it's very high key, meaning not much dark. So it's all the lights and the middle tones. But just a tiny bit of darks on the trees, which may be enough. But I, I have a feeling that it should have maybe a little more dark somewhere. Dark down at the bottom. I, this is just getting started. OK. Um, and it was, it's a commission. Oh, I, okay. I painted one like it before, and uh -huh. someone saw it uh -huh. and said, can I have something really close? And it says, I don't do the same thing. I know, it's impossible <laughs> to copy yourself. <laughs> it is. And yeah, so a little darker down here, mm -hmm. I think, would work. I, I mean, I just really like, it does receive, it is dark, middle light, but maybe not quite enough. Um, so just a little darking mm -hmm. in there, I mm -hmm. think, it, it, and you've got it. Um, and maybe it's just right in here, right there. Yeah. Just so that it does kind of flow I'm thinking that it needs a little more rush in the front, too, around the trees, but I'm still playing with that. Yeah, probably. Just right up down, down in here. Um, I, I don't think... I like your eye to go up. There I know, up and I don't, I don't see any problems in here. It's, mm -hmm. it's really just here. Mm -hmm. So, and I think it's because that is two, is the same light yeah. and that is the same light. So you're missing a recession just yeah. on those two strips. Okay. But otherwise, it's, you know, it's, it's leading you right on out. And then you look, um, you look at that and, and then come, I like it. It's great. I just darken and darken. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well on the way. Mm -hmm. 
fighting it all the way, have you? <laughs> so you've got a light against dark, so we look at this, which is really good, and then dark going into dark, which so he's into his, his environment, which is really good. I've been, listen, I think I've been listening to you. <laughs> but I think it's too much dark. Too much dark. So if you look at this, which is very nicely done, a little bit of it over here, oh. but with a, a darker midtown type. Yeah. But so that it looks like it's the same shirt. Yeah. Instead of just a dark mass. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's really the sh it's the shirt that I think you need to bring out a little of the shape, not all of it. Yeah. So don't get as light as this. Right. But and don't lose the fact that the dark is going to the dark. But a little bit of shaping. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I like the dark green going to light, and then he's coming out. That's good. I'm gonna look at him. Muddy looking. Yeah, I know. I can't get my colors. I've been just, I don't know why. I've just been fighting. That's why it looks muddy. I've been doing work on it too much. Yeah. The, the um, really good portrait painters that I have seen use bolder colors. They use some greens. They use some purples mm -hmm. in the face. And yeah, there's green and purple in there, but it's, it's so, too subtle. It's, it's, it's too, too muddy. Yeah. Um, this side is nicer than this side, and, yeah. and I do see some purples here. It's really in here that it's it's brown. It's it. So putting some maybe starting with a a pinker and then putting not mixing it quite as much, not blending it quite as much, because I just, I, particularly in here, he's just that It's not skin tone color. I think, too, he had a beard there, too, didn't he? Well, he has a beard in the photo, yeah. yeah. I think that's what kind of I took the, the beard away. Oh. So I think that's what. Well, then take the brown of the beard away. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where I'm having trouble with color. That's probably it, because it's really not bad up here. It's just really there. And then that chin doesn't look right at all. Yeah, it's kind of, the, the whole face is this way, which would mean his chin is here. Yeah. And you've got the cleft over there. <coughs> it's off. It's off. Yeah. And the fact that, I mean, you got to go around here. And so this whole part is wrong. The fact that that whole lip is very light is violating the dark light yeah. side by side that you're doing. Yeah, I see. So I never noticed that before, but yeah. Yeah. So if you does that help? I yeah. think it does. I think that has to be darkened right, there. right in there and with just a highlight on that bottom lip on that side. And I think that'll help. But you know, you've got it here, and then it it really needs to be quite dark on this side. Um, and then some of the light coming under. Yeah. So that you know, shape it all the way down. Yeah. And if you do that, and then that, and then move that chin over, I think it'll look good. I'll, I'll probably wrestle with it a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I predict it how it fits with it. His eyes are great shape, and his eyebrows, and his nose. Although, when I'm looking at the nose, that's a little dark. Yeah. Just the nostril itself. Yeah, I had it. I had it way too light, and then I over darkened it. Add a little red in there. Yeah. Or because the. Um, yeah, it's got red in it, but you can't tell. Well, lighten it down. <laughs> or something. So that's good. Um, okay. His hairline isn't quite right either. 
Yeah, I think even if you're bald, it comes over a little bit. Yeah, more. it does. Yeah. And the um, light is coming here. You could stand to lighten just a touch um, going there, so again, to get away from that pure dark on there. And then the only other thing that I question is that. Yeah, I'm thinking I should lose that. I'd lose that. Um, it doesn't add anything, and it does take your eyes. It's white in there other than the eyes. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a window sill, but I don't like it. Not working. Uh, I just down this chin. But it's good. I think I think this isn't very much work to make it a really strong thing. Don't throw that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I'm gonna stand in front of it. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> You've seen that one before. I've seen that one several times. I move the hand on the right so that it's more symmetrical. Yeah. And uh, I change the color tone in the face. I, it's beautiful. The only thing I, that I see is how pointy that little finger is. You just made it a little bit rounder on the tip. Okay, I was thinking the, uh, the, the white part on the right-hand side might need to be toned down just a little bit so it's a little pinker instead of being... Uh, so bright there, I'm not sure. It seems. It doesn't bother me. Oh, okay. The only thing that bothers me is that looks more like a finger than that does. It's just yeah. too pointed. I'll fix it. I love this back. I really do. If you wanted to tone that down at all, you could put a few more of those little uh, red shades in it. Okay. Because all of this, the red side kind of follows all the way down. And the light side stops right there. Yeah. And so that that would be kind of good to have a little bit of those shapes in there. Okay. Um, that just really works. The this all works. Her face is good color. I, that little finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pinky. <laughs> and and I do think now that I think about it, more of this. Okay. I mean, right yeah, I, I think I think you're right. Texture. Yeah. Is this a person for real or just a? Um, it's actually uh, my granddaughter, but um, I like the idea of Persephone coming yeah. out of the cave in the spring, and and I'm trying to incorporate some very very loose uh, floral uh, in her cloak, uh -huh. and trying to decide whether I'm going to include some of that loose floral on the left hand side or just go with a trail in the mist. I think you need shades. Okay, floral it is. <laughs> <laughs> but then I like shapes. Yeah. But you know, it's so beautifully shaped on the right to be blank on the left or just shapeless on the left, I don't think would read as well. Um, I particularly like right there and right there because even though that's on the dark side, it's bringing it out a little. Yeah. And I, I feel like maybe a couple of strands of hair, same type treatment, but I don't know about that, but maybe. Um, her face and hair and everything is beautiful. It, it just right in, maybe just lighten that one to that. Okay. Uh, I think that would do it. A little more contrast. Just in, a little in bit area. more yeah. to bring it out. Okay. Um, and then, because this is a light side somewhere in here, you have to have some dark. Okay. It can't just be all right. light um, to, to let us really see this. Uh, but I would vote for shapes. You okay. know, loose, yeah. not, 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 not hard lined. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be great. You've got a strong blue here, so I feel like a, a little of that color, but mm -hmm. light mm -hmm. over here. Um, I mean, just you kind of have it there, but that's a different blue. So 
So just some sort of um, some sort of shapes in here. A little dark right there. And um, finish that out. That's good. Okay. Her um, the face is great. With the possible exception of that little peak in this right there. Mm -hmm. Smooth it to just smooth it just a touch. Okay. Bring, it's like the lid is going straight and not kind of coming on down. It's gonna be beautiful. Thanks. I had fun with it.